Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Peter. Hello. Yes. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm okay. Good. Thank you for asking. Let me see. Where is everybody today? Maybe the class is dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they are cold. Yeah, yeah. Let me check, let me open the... <clears throat> they might be stuck in the traffic. There's a lot of traffic in this moment? I don't know, but I, I, I imagine that, I suppose. Yeah, maybe. <coughs> Let me see. <clears throat> All right, there's Nuri, there's Larry. Only two people connected today. Let's wait, maybe more people will come in. So have you been hot today? Yes, a lot. And it's... In the morning, it was uh, terrific. When? What in month? Morning. Yeah, in what morning. month? What month does it start to rain? Uh, usually May. In May, okay. There are always some some rain yeah, in February because my grandmas always told me that los jocotes tienen que engordar y las chicharras tienen que salir. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let me see. Esther is here, Francisco is here. Yes, good evening. Hello, good evening. There's there. Okay, so let's start then. So remember yesterday we're doing um, verbs of belief. Like when, when we say he must be, she must be. So then th this is a good one right now. Like where is everybody today? And um, Larry said, oh, they must be stuck in traffic. <laughs> Mm -hmm. you, you know people say oh yeah they must be stuck in traffic or they should be or okay let me see <clears throat> okay, um, do you hold on? Do we do this? 
models of multiple use. Yes, we did that one. We did that one. Okay. Here, we're in the listening exercise. Okay. Okay. So let's listen to this and let's listen to the order here. Good evening, listeners, and hear? welcome to Still Unsolved <laughs> Mysteries. Okay. Tonight, we're going to talk about the strange case of Betty and Barney Hill. They were convinced that one night in 1961, they were abducted by aliens. Could this really have happened? Martha Stevens is here to talk about it. Martha, what's the story? Hi, David. Well, one night, while the Hills were driving home from a vacation in Montreal, they saw a bright point of light in the sky. Barney assumed it must be a plane or maybe a satellite, but Betty thought it could be a UFO. There were no other cars on the road, so Barney drove slowly so they could watch it. The object seemed to be flying beside them. Barney began to agree that it couldn't be a plane, so he stopped the car. And Betty said she saw about 10 creatures looking at them through windows in the object. And then what happened? As they drove quickly away, they suddenly felt tired and their bodies felt strange. Their next memory was driving on the highway again. They arrived at their home early the next morning. They said things were still strange. How were they strange? Well, they couldn't remember the drive home clearly. Betty found pink powder, and stains on her dress. She had no idea where they might have come from. Did they contact anyone? Betty wrote a letter to the Air Force about their strange experience and about the terrible dreams she was having. The Air Force said Betty must have been having the dreams because she thought she saw a UFO. They said she couldn't have seen aliens. Betty and Barney were interviewed and hypnotized many times by doctors. They told stories about having medical tests on the spaceship. What did the doctors think? They doubted the story. They said dreams like this can be triggered by science fiction TV shows. Barney's description of the creatures matched creatures from a TV show. Doctors figured the Hills must have seen the show. Betty said Barney couldn't have seen the show because he worked in the evenings when it was on TV. Hmm, I suspect the doctors were right. That must be the real explanation. Well, maybe. There's one more thing. Doctors asked the Hills what time they left Montreal and what time they got home. The trip should have taken four hours. The Hills were amazed to realize it had taken them seven hours. What happened to the missing three hours? Good question, Martha. I guess that's why it's still an unsolved mystery. So what do you think it is? Number one, the hills saw an object flying beside their car. Betty saw creatures looking at them from the object. Number the one. Number one. The number hills? One. Yes. Do you know how to say OVNI in English? UFO. UFO, good. Do you know what is UFO? Uh, on... I don't remember the first, the first word. On an event, unidentified flying object. Yes, unidentified flying object. Number two. Number two. Hold on, hold on. Let me see the extractions. There are only six of them mentioned, and listen, what is the second one? The second one. Number two. Number two. Number two. Betty saw creatures looking at them from the object? Yes. 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 All right. Mm. 
Hold on, please. Okay, I'm sorry, me está escribiendo alguien que no puede entrar, pero no sé quién es. Um, number three. Number four. Number four. Betty found pink four. powder in, uh, on her dress oh. the next day. The next day. I'm sorry? Four. Yes, number four. Oh, number four, okay. Four. What is number four? Six. Six. Number five? Seven. Number six? The last one. Eight. Reading exercise, amnesia. Do you know what is amnesia? Uh, when you can remember anything about uh, maybe uh, an event or, uh, or more deeply. Okay, good. Exactly, that is amnesia. Class, can you excuse me one minute? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Please one minute. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, class, thank you, sorry. Okay, so amnesia is like when you have, um, when you forget things. I have amnesia, I think. <laughs> I think everybody we have, at certain point in our lives, we have had amnesia. Yes, it happens to me a lot of times. Yeah, okay, let's see this, this. Okay, so how many people are we here today? Nine, eight, nine with you. Yes, I see. I see more people now. Good. There's Mirna. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's read. We're going to start with you, Mr. Luis Molina. You're going to read the first paragraph and you choose the next person, okay? So do you want me to, can you read that? No. <laughs> you have to zoom. But Zoom with the class. With the plat with the platform. Uh, I, I can read very well. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me fix something. No, hold o sea, on. en el más le tiene que dar para que se acerque el solo la imagen. Sí, pero, oh, espérame, espérame, espérame. Let me do one thing. Thank you. 
Can you see now? Yes, I, I can read a teacher. Okay, good. Yes. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. Ten paragraphs. Oh, good. One each. Okay, so let's read the first paragraph, please, sir. Uh, what is the person you married forgot who you were? <clears throat> One Texas couple and uh, marriage became uh, a blind date uh, when the groom came down with amnesia days after they wearing. Can okay. you imagine that? Okay, does everybody understand the, 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 the words, the vocabulary, everything? Yes. Okay, so it says what? Uh -huh, what okay. is groom? Okay, very good. Groom, you are only groom for one day. We have the bride and we mm -hmm. have the groom. Oh, the el novio. El novio, yeah, but in English, it's very strange to say the boyfriend. Igual la novia, la novia is the bride. You're only that for one day. Okay. Yes. All right. Can you pick the, the next person, please? Okay. Uh, Esther Garcia. Okay. A mí soy. Okay. A mí and sing Magnuti. Wedding day started well. We ended with a show. One of sing good friend was in the home because of the serious car accident. Never things Amy and Singh decided to make their honeymoon trip according to plans. Okay, it's nevertheless. Okay. But, um, like a but. Mm -hmm. Amy and Sean decided to make their honeymoon trips according to the plans. So can you imagine that? Can you, can you imagine that you marry that person and then they get amnesia? Man. Or oh, that's a good excuse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can you read the next part, please? Uh, who, who is next? Um, Sonia Perez. <clears throat> okay. At the airport, scene realized. He... Okay, it's not scene, it's Sean. Sean. Yes, like, remember the actor Sean Connery? No. Okay. <laughs> wow. Sean Penn? Sean. Okay, go ahead, please. Sean realized he left his wallet in their car after date parked. He said to Amy, I'll be right back, but that didn't return. I'll be right back, but he didn't return. Very good. Can you pick the next person? Nuri. Okay. Emmy <clears throat> contacted the police. Who contacted the police. She contacted the police who found she wandering near a motel. Three days later, he was confused and covered in bad bites. He had no idea who he was or who Amy was. Shane could not remember any personal details from his life, not even his mother. Wow, can you imagine that? Questions? Do you have questions? 
class, do you have what questions? Does... No, teacher. Okay. What does wondering mean? Very good. Okay, wondering is like, hmm. Yeah, you wonder. Teacher, does not wonder. I, I, yeah, that's it, wonder. Yeah, wondering comes from wonder. Oh, okay. So when you say I wonder, it's like, hmm, I wonder what happened to. But, but wonder with A or wonder with O? Oh, th this is wondering. It, it comes yeah. from wonder. Yeah, this, uh, this is it like the song from Diana Rose, The Wanderer. The Wanderer. Yeah, do you remember? How does it go? Um, I'm the Wanderer. And yeah, no, I, I can't remember, but it's something like yeah, Wanderer and Wanderer. I don't, no, I can I can remember the okay the lyrics. Okay, good. But in this case, in this case, wandering is what um many Wallapegas do, you know, like yeah. Yeah. And they're they're just wandering, um, ambulantes, ambulando, errante. With oh. yes, with a. All right. Hey. Uh, what is bug bites? Very good. Bug bites is like when <laughs> El Salvador at night. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes when they bite you. You know, sometimes you go camping and then there's no repellent or anything like, oh, man, and the next day your arm is all red from mosquito bites or bug bites. Right. That's a very big problem, like, for example, in hotels, like one star hotels. That the bed, I unas que se llaman bed bugs. Bugs is bichos, insectos, right? Entonces, I bet bugs that they bite you. All right, can you pick the next person, please? Okay. Um, Mirna. Okay. So, Amy was now married to a man who viewed her as a stranger. I wonder, you know, is he going to remember me? How is our relationship going to work? Say, Amy, Amy. Okay. Sorry, it is raining. It's raining. Yeah, listen. Oh, I can't hear, but it's raining in Metapan. Yeah, I mean, yes. it's too hot. So. Oh, I can hear now. Wow, yes. cool. Rain. Uh, okay, so can you imagine being married and then that person totally forgets you? That would be cool after 20 years. Imagine after 20 years, she forgets you. You're like, yes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. No. Okay. Can you pick the next person, please? Um, wait. Uh, Alex Cornejo. Alex, are you there? I'm sorry, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. This was a big change after a six years courtship and plenty of shared memories. What is? What is what? Uh, ah, okay. Okay, next. Can you continue the next part, please? Okay, I had to, to learn to ask him, can I how you? I mean, that was hard, say Amy. Um, next one. No, it's okay. Um, um, yeah, you know what? Read the next one because it's very slow. But do do you? It's very short. Do you know? Do you understand this? The vocabulary here. The part. Courtship. 
Teacher. Courtship was the relation they had of a boyfriend girlfriend. Okay. So they had a six year courtship and many plenty of memories. Yes. No es muy usada esa palabra courtship, but it's actually a relation. Boyfriend girlfriend. Boyfriend girlfriend relation. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So next. So Miguel Franco. No, can, can you can you do the next one, please? The next. Uh, okay, next part. Okay. Um. Uh, psych. Psychiatrist. 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 Okay. Psychiatrist Dr. Daniel Brown says, uh, Sean's amnesia might have been caused by a series of uh, stressful moments, like his friend's car accident. According to Dr. Brown, uh, Sean's brain didn't connect with his identity anymore. Identity. It, I, oh, I'm sorry, ident identity anymore. He doesn't know who Sean McNally is and... Uh, has no memories to help. All right. Pick the next person, please. Okay, Miguel Franco. Okay. It's sort of, of, of like if you forgot your name of a, of a file you store on your computer, you know? It is there, but you can't find it, say Brown. His memory is like that. All right, can you pick the next one? The next person? Okay. Can you pick the next person to read, please? Okay, Larry. Okay, Larry. Fortunately, the better times. Uh, excuse me, teacher, can you move to the uh, right? I can see the left. Okay. All right. Thank you. Welcome. Fortunately, the better times soon arrived. The day before the first anniversary. Sean's memory flew back in, a, in, in an instant. He soon remembered everything, including the wedding. I remember shoving cake in her face, say Sean. It was great. Okay. Can you read the next part? Who has the next part? Um, who's uh, the last one? Oh, Irma? Can, can you read it, please? Jenny, but I'll see. Oh, oh yes. I, yeah, I she already read. Someone else is uh, waiting uh, for. Oh, there's many people. Uh, oh, yeah. Esther, Esther hasn't read. No, she did. So, she Sonia, Irene. Irena. Irena. Yeah. Raphael. Good evening. Sorry, I'm late. It's okay. The Thank important you. thing is that you're here. Thank you, teacher. Well, Sean views the experience as a chance to confirm he picked up the night, he picked up the right bright. I got to see how much she loves me. Say Sean, we have a much stronger, closer bond from the experience. I couldn't have found a better woman to spend my life with. All right. So imagine this sad story. Well, it was sad, but it had a good ending. Yeah. It was sad, but it had a good ending. And, you know, what would you do in that case? Uh, yeah, you try your best to to help to your. To I'm your, sorry. You you try the best 
to have to have to your love, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To your love each other, you know. Something happened. You gotta help to your couple, right? Yeah, but you know what? I'm I'm gonna tell you a story. Of what happened to a friend of mine? He um, poor man. He he um he married a, his girlfriend like for seven months. I, I think they went out for six or seven months, and she was she was like perfect, and um, she was from. I forgot the story, but she was not from El Salvador, but she had Salvadorian this this descending. She was from San Salvador, but her family was from I don't know where Canton, but she lived alone and she was and my friend loved her because she was she had a good job. She lived here in San Salvador, she lived alone and everything. So they got married and um, she had schizophrenia. Oh. And um, one day she wanted to kill my friend sleeping. Oh my God. Yeah, it was, it was my, my friend really, really suffered because um, he really loved her. And he, of course he tried to help her, but I don't know. I, I think he told me that schizophrenia has no cure and it's progressive something like that and she was taking very hard drugs drugs as medicine mm -hmm. so he had to divorce her but yes. but not he didn't do it like immediately he didn't do it immediately because he did try to help but then um he couldn't and i understand that i understand that because it, i mean i understand you can live with somebody who has cancer or blind or, or something, but someone who has a schizophrenia, she got worse. I mean, suddenly, suddenly she can pick up a knife and kill, oh, you know, and she starts hitting you. So yeah, it was very sad. Right. He, he just abandoned he her? Life. Excuse me? So she, he, he just abandoned her? No, 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 he no. Left. No, no, no. Um, what happened was, this was like 20 years ago. I think what happened was that he did try to help her. He did. Uh, he, he discovered more about her family. And, oh. he, he, you know, and I think that was the big mistake he did. He didn't really know her story. Mm -hmm. I mean, she never. And, and, you know, I think I think it was her fault, too. Because mm -hmm. she she had to tell him, hey, look, I have schizophrenia. <laughs> It was her she responsibility. Didn't, she didn't tell. No, tell. she didn't. She didn't. My friend didn't My know. Gosh. That was the big problem. And um, I, I, I understand my friend's position because um, he did try to help her. He tried to continue to try to ignore that, but he told me uh, it's very difficult. There's a point that hasta me da miedo dormir. Like mm -hmm. she, she you know yeah it was so then um her family came from the united states and, you know they talked to him yeah i i know a couple that that has some problem but uh that she um her uh her wife or the lady she lost she lost uh uh the sense right Oh. She she lost what sense? Uh yeah, the the, the time like like uh, amnesia, right? Like like uh -huh. amnesia. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. It happen happens like uh, it's no it's no more no. It, it happens like uh, every <clears throat> three years, every I don't know five years. It's no. It's not to how to say in, in, in the time uh, like uh, I don't know they married like like about uh, 20, 20 years right and it happens the, the situation like uh, 
three or four times. And, uh, her, she lost her mind, like for her amnesia. For, for, yeah, like uh, for uh, the last time I I, I see, um, do I know she lost her mind like for a uh, for a month? Wow! Oh, yeah. she lost her memory. Her memory, sorry. Yeah, her memory for for a month. And, by, and then she came back, you know. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's happened. But they stayed together, you know. He, yeah. he never. Yeah, he you never know. Him. You know, going back to that, I wonder with an O. Now that I am married, now that I am older, I wonder what I would do in that situation mm -hmm. if I married someone who had schizophrenia. I always remember that case of my friend's friend. Uh, so what happened at the end was that his family, her family came. Uh, do you know what is strange? Strange, the, the strange, but as a verb. Um, okay. Um, let me see. Who has a lot of brothers? Jenny, you have a lot of brothers, right? Is Jenny here? Oh, Jenny, I have, have three sisters. Yeah, I remember you have three sisters. But oh, you're close to the three sisters, right? Yeah. Okay. Who, who else I has? Lot, I have a lot of siblings. In. Okay, do you have a good relation with all of them? Yes. Okay, so strange is when you when you separate from somebody close to you. My dad has two brothers, and he he doesn't talk to to them. Oh okay, he's strange with for them. years. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, so my friend, his family, they, he told them that uh, they told him that she has, she has been estranged with their family for many years. So I think this woman, she didn't want to accept her schizophrenia, or she thought she could control it. So that's why, that's why everything makes sense at the end. That's why she was single. That's why she was independent. That's why she had no family and, you know, many things. That's why she was the perfect girl. That's why my friend fell in love with her in six months, you know. And, but really, I think it was her fault too. She had to say, she had to tell him, hey, I have schizophrenia. That's not, that's something very, very serious. Yeah, but I, I think at, at, at first you try, you think, yeah, that because you love her, or maybe you love her and and you try to help, right? Like, a, yeah. like a, at first. You know? No, but, but it's very different. Imagine yourself in that situation. You meet a perfect girl and she's beautiful and, and, and everything. You had the best time of your life. And then you said, man, I don't know, I every day, that passes by and I'm not married to this woman, I am wasting mm. my life. So I'm going to ask her to marry me. But then she tells you, look, there's one, one little problem. What? I have schizophrenia. What would you do? Hey, teacher, yeah. uh, I, I think that the, that the schizophrenia is very different of nation. Uh, schizophrenia for me is a mental disability. Yeah. Uh huh. And, and we need. Do you, uh, do you remember? Like, I think it was five or ten years ago. This woman, she killed her two children and her mother in in Ilopango. No. Do you remember that news? Yeah, no. the woman. The no. woman. They were eating. They were eating. And suddenly she saw her mother giving tortillas with um, poison con veneno, oh, to her yeah. children. And, and the mother was like, oh my God. And then 
she saw the children. She says she saw like monsters in, in the children's face. So she killed the two children and her mother. Yeah, this is just terrible, right? It's terrible. It's not yeah. very hard. Does it happen here? Yes, I remember it happened like in Ilopango. What? So that, that thing is, is schizophrenia. Of, yeah, that was, but like Luis Molina said, I think there's many, it's like autism. There's many mm -hmm. type of autisms. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. The most important teacher uh, nowadays uh, with the, the uh, with the pandemia and the conf confinement, right? It's very important to uh, take care because the, the mental, uh, this is increased nowadays. Yeah, maybe. Yes, yeah, but, I, but, uh -huh, but uh, it's very important to uh, take care because any person detonate with schizophrenia or, or um, un trastorno mental, right? Yep, yes. it's not necessary to uh, uh, draw or, or alcohol, right? Nowadays, is a big problem because mental disability when so a person do i you, don't know is, is do, that do person you, you don't know uh, how is the person very important that right yeah. but you know i think yeah. something bad is like how how the media the media is influencing is influencing in in everybody today it's like i'll give you an example my niece she studies in a guadalupano and she's 13. And she told me that today or yesterday, her classmates, feministas, they protested and they vandalized the school or some ex-students, mm -hmm. they vandalized the school. So I'm like, oh my God, you're 13. And they're already <laughs> contaminated. Yes. They don't even know what feminism is. I don't know, mm -hmm. sad. Yeah. No, but you're right, Luis Molina. Thank you. In Spanish, because I have I, I don't have the vocabulary, but but try. Right. But I understood the, you. The, the, the cada cinco familias is uh, out of cinco every family, five families. Five family, uh, three no. maybe mm -hmm. uh, to be achieve a uh, disability, uh, uh, mental disability, right? Very important that because and now they. Uh, with this uh, confinamiento is uh, you know i was great. i was very i was very very lucky because the majority of my friends they remember the, the first quarantine that you really couldn't go out only with your dewey <laughs> and yeah. some of my friends they were like sick they said no no i need to go out they couldn't stand their spouse they 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 were sick. They they needed they they were fighting with, with their spouse. Do you know what spouse is? No. Nope. Yeah, wife. Wife, wife or husband. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Wife or husband. So they were fighting with their spouse. In my case, I was very lucky because I got closer with my wife. I miss those days. I mean, it, we talk about it. We had a very beautiful quarantine i'm sorry this sounds ugly but we had a very beautiful quarantine <laughs> we watched maybe like 10 series in netflix i remember we even put the the bed from the bedroom we put it in the living room hmm. and my wife my son and i watching tv all day it was a perfect quarantine but some, and I, and I call my friends and my friends, no, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I hate my wife. I, I hate my children. I'm all, no, man. So it's maybe what you said, you, your mind. Estado de mente, state of mind. But also depend of your personality, you know? People, people are very, you know, some people are very um, familiar or they like, they like to be at home, right? But some people they cannot, yeah, they cannot stay at home for for they can. or, or can okay the people work um, work uh, outside prefer work outside than than stay inside in a, inside yes, it's in true. A, yeah 
is true. That's very true. Hold on, let me put next. But I consider that that happens because you get so stressed at home. Uh, well, in my case, that's, that's why I, I prefer work uh, outside. No, yeah. I understand that. I understand that. But for me, that's a problem because if you get stressed at home, then something something is wrong. <laughs> Because I think your home should be your, in my point of view, for your me, comfort zone. exactly for me, home is my, like my, okay. No, Please. but I, I, under, I understand that the, the stress, the stress, but, um, but like, like Alex said, one thing that helps me is I love to be in my house. I don't like to go out, but I like peace in my house. I love peace. But when somebody in my house is angry, I, I, I don't like it. Yeah. Okay, let's do another listening. Like, did you ever watch that movie, The Notebook? No. Yes. No. no. Wait, wait. Mirna, you have not watched The Notebook. ¿Quién más no la visto? Me. Esther. Where is me? Oh my god, that's like one of <laughs> that movies. Really? You have not watched the notebook? That's yeah. like that's like saying no. you haven't watched Titanic. Yes, it's a, a girl movie. Quoting, it's a, right? But... <laughs> it's, it's a chick flick. Chick flick. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah. I don't see movies. Just, oh no, but just, you have to you have to see the notebook. It's it's good. Just a notebook. Yeah, it's called the notebook. Yeah, but I mean the notebook is like it's like saying Titanic. Mm -hmm. or, or or I don't know, ghost or it's a, well, it's, it's, a it's very long. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it has to you I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you right now because if I tell you, I will ruin it because it's a very good I mean, it's, it's, I mean, for a chick flick, it's good. It's good. Watch it with your spouse. Uh, and Rachel mm -hmm. Adams is so beautiful too. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the that's the thing. She's so she's a very good actress. It's a love story. It's like a it's a Hollywood love story, but it's very good. I recommend you when you have the and it's very easy vocabulary. So when you have the time, watch it. It's good. You know what movie I watched yesterday and right. I don't recommend you? Scream. The new version? The new one. Yes, it was so stupid. Oh, okay. Yes, it's not like the, like the original, right? No, it was the original. It was like the same story, but only maybe a little bit more violent. Okay. <laughs> but nothing okay. new. It's like, um, it's the same, same story. The yeah. same beginning, the same ending. And I go, man, the only difference is more, a little more violent, but wow, from one to 10, I give it a three and I wouldn't watch it again. Okay. Yeah, that's my recommendation. But <laughs> All right, let's listen to this. It says, listen to a conversation between friends, then check if it's true or false. Listen to a conversation between hear? two friends, Ryan yeah. and Megan. Then check true or false. Hi, Megan. Hey, Ryan. Were you at that huge party last weekend? You mean the one that took up the whole city block? Yeah. I can't believe how many people were there. I know. I didn't want to go, but my friend Doug dragged me along. I didn't see you there. I had a great time, and we met a really cool girl there. My sister and I went to the Natural History Museum with her on Wednesday. What's she like? Well, her name's Carla, and I thought she was pretty shy and reserved at first. But she's not? Nope. Once I started talking to her, I realized she wasn't shy at all, just calm and cool. It just goes to show you that people aren't always what they seem like at first. 
No kidding. Oh, and Carla and I discovered we have a lot of friends in common. Really? I'm surprised you haven't met before. Yeah, me too. So what does she do? She works at home. She runs a business out of her living room. Doing what? She teaches middle school and high school kids how to save money for college. Carla sounds like a strong and independent woman. Yeah, she definitely is. Cool. Hey, we're going for lunch tomorrow afternoon. Do you want to come? Sure. I'd love to meet her. Great. Meet us at that Thai restaurant. You know, the... All right, Ryan wanted to go to the party. True or false? False. 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 Megan met a shy girl at the party. True or false? False. Ooh. False. false. <laughs> Who said true? Carla knows a lot of people that Megan's friend knows. True. 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 Carla works in an office. True or false? False. false. Oh. Ryan, Ryan will join his friend and Carla for lunch. True. True. Good. All right, let's do part two. Listen to a conversation between two classmates, then check the correct answer. Passages, third edition, level one, unit two quiz. Part A. Listen to a conversation between two classmates, Mike and Anna. Then check the correct answers. Anna, what did you think of the English final? I don't know, Mike. I thought it was pretty hard. Yeah, I thought so too. But I feel pretty good about it. Hey, do you know what happened to Kelly? She didn't show up for the exam. I don't know. But we were supposed to meet right after class to talk about our final project. Do you think she's sick? Hmm. I just talked to her last night and she seemed okay. I doubt she got sick so quickly. Well, I should have said something to Professor Atkins. I wonder if she noticed that Kelly wasn't there. Probably not. There are 55 people in our class. But Kelly never misses class. Do you think Professor Atkins will let her take a makeup exam? Yeah, she let me take a makeup exam once. I suspect she'll do the same for Kelly. I hope so. Let's call Kelly now and see if she's okay. Mike had plans to meet Kelly. After class or at the class? After class. Anna thinks they got sick. Anna thinks Kelly got sick. Anna doesn't think Kelly got sick. Anna doesn't think Kelly got sick. Doesn't think Kelly got sick. Doesn't think Okay. Anna <laughs> thinks Professor Atkins knew Kelly missed the exam. Didn't know Kelly missed the exam. Didn't know Kelly missed the exam. Didn't know Kelly missed it. Okay. Professor Atkins usually allows makeup tests or doesn't allow makeup tests? Allows, allows makeup, makeup tests. All right. Let's see. All right. Cool. You've got it. Okay, let's listen to this. I'm, I'm going to have a conversation, like a quick, normal, basic conversation with Myrna. And the reason why is because she's the youngest in the class. So I want everybody to listen and then you tell me what she can, she could, or she should do. Right? So Myrna, you, you live in, you live in Metapan, right? Yeah. And um, you have your own business. Yes, it is. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. And uh, you plan to move to San Salvador? Yeah, when uh, I, when I, when the class is gonna be presidential. Okay. And what do you want to study in the university? I study agronomy, but I want to study vet. Okay, and um, why that big difference? Because it's a very big difference from agronomy to, 
to yeah. be a fan. Yes, uh, because agronomy, um, it works with uh, animals major, like cows and and horse, and and bed is like you can work with dogs, cats, and then and another and uh, domestic. Oh. So I, there's a link. They, they, there's a link, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a link between agronomy and okay, because they work yeah. with animals. Yes. Mm, okay. Um, but your main objective is that you want to be a vet. Yeah. And why can't you study that? Because I started in the National University and I, 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 I entered in the second option. They put in the second option. All right. Maybe the, the, it was a call, a cupos. No space. No spaces, yeah. All right. Okay, so uh, instead, so did you hear that? So Mirna wants to be a vet, but she's going to study agronomy because it's related to animals. Do you think that's a good idea or what should she do? Uh, yes, I think it's, it's a good idea. You think it's a good idea? Okay, very good. Thank you. Who doesn't think it's a good idea and what should she study instead? But remember, she wants to be a vet. So I, wait, hold on, I have a question. So Mirna, if you, if you study vet, do they give you credits if you go back to if you study agronomy, do they give you credit if, to study vet? Yes, we have uh, the first uh, cyclo. We have the same uh, uh, signatures. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So the career has a relation, like yeah. They are the first. Um, I'm studying the same if I if I uh, in agronomy I'm studying the same if I uh, study uh, in vet now. Okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. What about if you study like nursing? No, that's completely different. Oh. Because it's not in the same faculty faculty yeah also veterin veterinary and agronomy is in the same faculty yes and agroindustrial and a lot of careers is the faculty um uh sci agronomy science oh excuse my ignorance but what is the difference between agro industrial and agronomy Actually, I don't know, but I think that it may like agro industrial is like in the fab fabrics. No, you, in you you read in the factory. Yeah, factory. <laughs> yeah, you work with uh the very big the big one. A micro, not macro, and micro. Is uh, yeah. I, I know my my nephew. My nephew studies uh, engineer agroindustrial, agroindustrial engineering. So okay. it's uh, yeah, there's uh, he's already in in the factory. Now with a small thing, they already um a macro level, you know, okay. with the food and, and all the stuff how oh, okay. to, to make to make the food. Oh, interesting. Um, what do you think she shouldn't study? I think I think vet is a very good opportunity right now because um, people that have pets in El Salvador today is very different like than 20 years ago. 
20 years ago, people had dogs, porque ni modo, like, but right. remember they only opened the door, bash, and the dog, <laughs> the whole day he was outside and he only came back at night. But now I see people that really love their dog. Yeah. Instead I, of having children. <laughs> yes, it's true. I, I see people like with their cats and their dogs. Yes. And um, I see it's people good. actually cleaning, cleaning their, <laughs> maybe one out of 10, cleans but it's it's a it's a it's a process because yeah before it was nothing <laughs> mm -hmm. the u.s is oh my god a lot of people have dogs and and there are uh parks for dogs and the and i think i think the consumption of babies and animals is almost the same in the united states mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah the people and, pay uh, they... extra I would say uh, rent, extra mm -hmm. rent to have uh, animals in yeah, so, their apartments. And now yes. everything has to be pet friendly. They want an airline mm -hmm. pet friendly. And the laws, and the laws are, are protect. Uh, they they is very strict. And they have uh, specialty areas for pets at the yeah. at the buildings apartments. Yes, but you know, in El Salvador, I like, I like people that have vision. For example, remember I told you I like to go to those tiendas de segunda, secondhand stores? And yes. um, there's one in El Premium, I think it's called, the one by uh, El Platillo, Premium. No, it's not by El Platillo, it's, it's by Pollo Campero. Wow, the thing is, these are pet friendly. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's yeah. that's cool, man. I mean, it's it's very strange. Like, wow, this is good vision. That's uh, in uh, there was a restaurant too, I guess. No, now it's very famous. I mean, you see it in pupuserias, you see it in mm -hmm. parks and restaurants, pet friendly, and and it's good because La plazas. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, plaza. I think Cascadas yeah, is Bamboo pet City friendly. Bamboo City Center right? is pet friendly. Yeah, the one in Santa Elena. Uh, no. no, it's uh, San Benito. Yeah, oh yeah, no. Where, Plaza Rosa, Madero, sorry. Plaza Madero is is in Santa Elena. Right? That's yes. pet friendly. Yeah. Yes, it is. I, I think the the animals. I love animals, but I think with this all this um, um, importance that are that are given to animals, but is I I repeat, I like it. But I think there are, there have to be laws for the for the people for the owners of the animal because yes. you live you live in your in your house and there are poops dog poops everywhere. And you don't have to, to to pay for my neighbor. And yeah, I, I have a very big problem. problem with one of my neighbors yeah. because I don't like cats. cats. Yes. I don't like but, cats. I'm sorry if you like cats. It's, I don't hate cats. I just don't like them yeah. because I am extremely allergic to them. And um, I have a neighbor. She's a cat lover, animal lover, pro cat, no sé qué. Her, you know, I don't think she, I don't think she even likes boys or girls. She just likes cats and it's good. But the problem is that in my, in my block, we are only like eight houses. And one time I counted like 36 cats because she leaves food outside for them. Mm. And the ironic, the ironic thing is that she doesn't have cats in her house. Mm -hmm. They can me sucio this one. Really? <laughs> But it's okay, you know, and um, in, in my block, every house has a garage and I am the only one that uses a garage in my house. Mm -hmm. And the stupid cats go inside my house, in my car, oh, they, sl yeah. they sleep under my car. And okay, mm -hmm. it's no problem. But like you say, Rafael, the poop, yes. every morning my eyes, yes. really, I have had problems. Feet. I've had problems in my job because I go with my eyes red, like red. Oh. And I don't know if they think I am in drugs or drunk. <laughs> and they tell me, why are your eyes red? I'm, it's allergies, I probably, you know, wait, give me like 30 minutes or one hour. Yes, I'm gonna quit that, but it, the problem is when I wake up every morning and I open the car, the hair gives me allergies. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think they believe me. <laughs> But I and, and I speak with the, with the with the neighbor and says, look, can we do something about this? 
and she gets angry. Oh my God, you, ojalá su hijo is not like you. And no, my son. Echele, echele spray con jugo de limón. No, no, it's a lie. I tried it in my house with the dogs. It's a lie. Yes. Mire, <laughs> se duermen en mi palo de limón. O sea, <laughs> really. <laughs> Is I, I have I have a lemon tree in front of my house and inside there's a little garden. They oh, you're a there. millionaire. No. Así venía la casa. Because lemon is very fancy. <laughs> yeah, you know, a veces pasa los lo que venden verdura. Se pasan cortando. No, y me dice, mire, no me deja entrar ahí y me los vende. No, coger, <laughs> lléveselos porque es, no hay lo que hacer. Like, there's so many lemons. Pero eso, I read, I read in the internet, oh, cítricos, cats don't like that. That's a lie. <laughs> Pero el I, ajo lo odian. Oh, he oído el ajo, pepino, pepper, pepper. But it depends, teacher. The, the bad ones are the machos. The, mm -hmm. the hembras. Las hembras son como más, Females. más tranquilas. Females. Oh. But the, but the, the male, male is correct to say. Oh, I think, I think the bad people is the human, my, my neighbor. Yes. Yes. yes she's, she's the problem, not the cats. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, uh, you know, I, I, some neighbors told me that they're going to start killing the cats. Because uh, I don't. That's sad because, but. Yeah. Remember my neighbor, the one that I told you that she has like four pickups, like she's a yeah. cartel, doña cartel or something. <laughs> yes. Oh man, the cats sleep on top of her pickups and they're scratched. Mm -hmm. And every morning, oh my God, look at my pickup. The stupid cats, I'm going to kill them. And she starts screaming in the hall. Yo le digo a mi la culpa. Can you imagine the paint job in that car? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh, because the cats they, they sleep on the cars, they walk on the cars. Mm -hmm. They do that sometimes scream too and at night because of the poops. I really hate it, but you, you go to your car and then oh man, I don't have the pet. Why I have to pay for it? I think that, uh, it's complicated. It is, and yes, you're right. I think there should be a law. But I heard I heard on the radio that there's going to be a law that every dog has to have a yeah a badge or something right yes the owner has to to respond for for, for their pet one friend told me that that, that in, in europe right in germany if you were going to have a dog you have to go even to 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 classes and you have to uh, uh, get identified it with a, a badge and, and and register as if it was a human yes. wow yeah. it's a very serious thing mm -hmm. yeah but it's good. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yes, because I see that the laws here, you see, that's why I don't like the governments, any governments. They do everything just to make people happy. Okay, like, okay, I respect that the look, Mukele made a, a, a Chivo Pets. Yeah, the Chivo Pets. Okay, good. Yeah, but it's just for convenience. Yeah, because it, yes. it's, it, it's, a, it's a trend right now. Okay, but you know, it's Already. good, Already. but I see that people, people that punish animals, the people are getting punished. Okay, good. It's good. But also the owners of the animals should be punished. Yeah, correct. Yes, because, uh, but that's never going to change, I think. Mm. The only thing is that we have no rats. In todo el pasaje, there's no rats. Big rats, it's like in the year ago. Right? advantage yeah i never seen a rat like in five years in my house <laughs> yeah okay class thank you very much i'll okay. see you tomorrow okay see you tomorrow okay. bye. 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 bye bye thank you see you tomorrow